Oni Ofife and the elders from the Cyrilline house who went to Akure to go and speak to Penaomi's family over Penaomi's return to the palace, promising that they are going to take care of her, they are going to do as she said, that whatever decision she makes pertaining the Oloris, as in concerning the Oloris in that palace, that they are going to stand by it. That all she needs to do is to say it and they will make sure that it happened. Uh, they said they did everything within their power to convince Queen Naomi's uncles to speak to Queen Naomi, to convince her into returning back to Kabiesi because uh, Kabiesi really loves her and wants to continue the marriage with her. That is not all about the old. It's not all about what is about to be for the palace or anything. That all they wanted is for the elders from Queen Naomi's paternal family to please speak to her to return back to them. They said this is not the first time they are going there. But this time again, the family of Queen Naomi keeps saying the same thing. Which is, at first anyway, they said they were very angry saying that what KBSC is doing with Queen Naomi is no longer marriage. The how can KBSC keep Queen Naomi uh, and is parading himself with all of these other women who, who believe that Queen Naomi is still married to uh, KBSC, that KBSC will have to free Queen Naomi. That is what the family have been saying before now. You know, at some point, I don't know if someone went and bribed some of the uncles they say at some point, some of the uncles started speaking from the other side of their mouth uh, that when Naomi should return back to her matrimonial home, that there is no marriage without problems. And some people are saying that maybe KBSC must have sent people to go and use money to shut up their mouth and all of that. So, but right now, maybe they had a serious case because they said there was this particular uncle of Queen Naomi who has been there for Queen Naomi and her family why the mother was struggling to raise them. The, a, 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 the person is the elder brother to the uh, uncle in Australia, the pastor. Yes, that one, they said, uh, he is solidly behind Queen Naomi. They have told Queen Naomi never to come back, uh, never to return back to that palace and everything. And we are hearing that the uncle in Australia said, when this thing was going on like this, that... He reached out to Queen Naomi. He called Queen Naomi to know what her uh, opinion about this thing is. Because Queen Naomi is now an adult. That she is no longer a baby. And they all believe that she knows what she wants. So when this uncle called her, according to what we are hearing, they said, Queen Naomi told the uncle that they spent close to 10 hours. I be six hours. I don't know. I don't know the exact hour. But they spent hours talking on phone based on this issue. And they said, Queen Naomi cried to the uncle, telling the uncle that she made a great mistake of her life by allowing uh, Kabyus to do all of those rituals with her and everything, that she is not going back to that marriage, that she doesn't have the strength to fight all these women, that the women in question, that if you see them in spiritual realm, you know that they came prepared. They don't care about the damage it will cost them with everything they are doing just to have their way. That she cannot fight them. It's not all about being spiritually strong or anything. No. That this is marriage is not a war zone. It's not a battlefield. That she cannot continue. She cannot risk the life of her son and her unborn babies all in the name of marriage. That she would rather be in a a place, a peaceful place, whether there is wealth or not, than to be in a wealthy war zone environment, that that is not happening, that she even regrets ever trying to return back after the first time, that if there's anyone, anything uh, the uncle will do to help her out of that situation, that he should do it, that she have made up her mind. Because they said the uncle called her so that the uncle will hear her aunt and see if she still loves Kabyesi. You know that sometimes love can kind of, when you love someone, even when there is problem and there is still atom of love, you'll be saying, I don't want, I don't want. At some point, you might decide, 
let me do this and all of that. They said that is the reason why the uncle called her. But from what she said, it is obvious that she really needs help to leave that place. So with that information, they said the one in Australia reached out to the one in Akure to tell the uncle that they need to do everything they have to do to get Kwenami out of that palace. So when this uh, uh, Kabiesi and uh, uh, the elders from the house came, in respect of this same topic, they said the elders from Akure told them that, look, this is marriage, and Queen Naomi is old enough to know what she wants. That at this point, it is not their decision to make. That it is Queen Naomi's decision. They said those ones, we are trying to convince them that they uh, know that sometimes children can be behaving somehow. They might not know exactly what they want and all of that. And that was when they said one of the uncles told them that Queen Naomi is no longer a child. That when Naomi turned 31 this year, and with the experience she have gathered from that palace, she is old enough to know that she wants to go back or she doesn't want to go back. And they will do her the honor of making that decision for her life, that it is her life. And when Naomi is a smart girl who is brilliant, who knows, she's not this kind of ladies that you push around. She knows what she wants. She knows her what. So if she says she's going back, we will support her. If she says she's not going back, we will support her. She is our own. We cannot uh, uh, push her back to your people even when she doesn't want it. They said the elders we are so disappointed. And to me, at this point, this thing is like, it's sounding like a do or die affair. It's not by force. It's not by force. Even though we all want to to return back to her matrimonial home to put Ashley and some of them to shame. But we want their safety. We want her safety. We want Tadenikawa's safety. And because KBS is not coming out plain, it is another thing that will make Kwenami to want to leave. Because at first, we all thought that KBS is working with Kwenami. We never know that she, he was working with Kwenami and at the same time working with our Ashley. Yes. Because we all know that Ashley is the main reason why Kwenami left that marriage. And Kabiesi went ahead and married Ashley. It, it did as it be. Now we are all human beings. You know? So, to me, uh, the thing is that let Queen Naomi be the one to decide. I believe that if God really wants her to remain in that marriage, God will take care of Olori Ashley. She's not too big for God to take care of her. If, if, she, if she will be an obstacle to the marriage, God will take care of her. Mm -hmm. So, when I hear this, I said, Yes, these elders are right. They should give Queen Naomi the honor of making such a decision for her life. She's no longer a kid. A 31-year-old woman with so much experience. Because, you see, this marriage Queen, this marriage have taught Queen Naomi a experience of, uh, a, an experience, or how will I put it? Experience that someone that is 50 years old have not even experienced in life within this four five years or six years of this marriage so that is what we are hearing allegedly like i will always remind you these are all alleged information okay always bear that in mind but they said despite this answer from this uh uh Queen Naomi's family it does not stop the elders from making sure that the oloris leave the palace because you know that they are the major problem see the oloris they are the major problems the moment these elders are able to cut down their wings, the easier for them. Yes. And another thing they should also try is to see if they will stop KBC from doing Krewa with them. Because the more they do the Krewa, the more they get KBC in their uh, 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 chains, I'll be in their whatever. <laughs> this life, no balance. So seriously, this life, you don't balance at all. See? how someone will abandon a special gift from God to him to go after old cargoes. People that are old enough to be his elder sisters. Hell, this life. You get that CBO, seriously. My prayer is, if God really wants Benami to return back to the palace, let him do a miracle that will shock everyone. 
because our God is still a miracle working God. And if he wants to do it, he will still do it. That is what I think. I don't know what you guys think. Whatever you think, please share with us on the comment section. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.